Hey guys, it's Shmuel here. I'm going to be giving a tutorial on a new feature that we now have in the portal. And it basically allows you to program the buttons on the phones yourselves. And uh, it's a pretty simple process. And let's uh, get started. So when you're logged into the portal as an office manager, that's the only level that would be able to do it. So a regular user or a call center supervisor or a call center agent would not be able to do this. You have to be the office manager. So when you're logged into the portal, you go to the inventory button. And under inventory, you have phone hardware. And these are the different phones that are assigned to the different users. So here we have a T27G associated with extension 101. So I can either click on this gear icon over here on the right, or I can actually just click on the MAC address right here. So I'm going to click on it. And then it gives you a picture here of exactly what the phone looks like. And stay away from the first three buttons, because if you look at your phone now, you'll notice that the first three buttons are your lines. So you don't want to uh, change anything on that. So you want to just leave it the way it is. And you could start programming from the fourth button down and on. So there's a couple ways that I can program extensions on the buttons so that I could see if they're on the phone, see if they're not on the phone. I can call them by just pushing the button, or I can transfer a call to them by just pushing the button. So that button is called a BLF. So here you have a user BLF. And I could put over here 102. And I can either put Bob here, and it'll show Bob on the phone. Or I could put nothing, and it'll show 102 on the phone. OK, and then I can go to the next one, make it another user, make it 103. And I can label that one, you know, George. And I can go all the way down through the buttons. OK, make this one. 105 and so on and so forth okay so now that I have the buttons programmed I can go over here and click on save but I'd rather click on the arrow and do save and sync and then what that'll do is that'll shoot the settings over to the phone and they'll immediately change to what you programmed here now there's another e is an easier way to apply extensions to the buttons maybe sometimes you have 10 extensions in your office so you don't always want to you know you don't always want to uh, put everybody so if you go here to the directory button it's going to show you all the extensions you have in your office so for instance I don't want 900 on a button so I can click here to remove it so it's not in this directory and let's say I don't want Okay, so let's say I have 102, 103, 104, 105, and I don't want 900. So I can then hit Done. And then what I can do is, is I can go over here to the arrows, to the dots on the right side of a button where I want it to start, and I can click Cascade Directory Static. And what that will do is that will shoot the four extensions down in alphabetical order. So here I have Agent Demo, which is A, and then E, E, E. So it shoots it down in alphabetical order. So if I had Bob, if I had this, depending on what ex what name we had on the extension itself. And then I can go in and save and sync. Another thing that I can do is, is I can make this, instead of cascade directory static, I can do cascade directory dynamic. And when that happens is, is that now it's assigned from the all. So now Whenever I create a new extension on the system, it's going to then go ahead and stick that user in the alphabetical order and push everybody else down. And then you can save and sync. But I don't advise using that. I would, I would advise doing the static. So this way you can you know clear all the cascade buttons and then go here and do it via static. Okay, and that's how I would do it. And then you can save and sync. You can also go ahead and use a speed dial. Let's say you know you have a phone number that you want to be able to reach the corporate office. All right, and you can put over here corporate. And now, and now when I when I press this button, it's going to call the corporate office. Okay, that's a speed dial. 
And that's pretty much how you would assign buttons to, to the phones. Now, to make it a little easier, you can actually go back here and instead of going into every single phone and doing that for them, you can click over here and do Manage Configuration Templates. Now, I already made a template called Our Office, but you would put the template name here, you'd put the description, and you'd pick your phone, your model phone. Okay, so I already did this, so I'm just going to go over here to Our Office and I'm going to edit it. And this is the template that I made. So again, you're going to leave the first three buttons alone. You're not going to want to touch them. Okay, so just leave one, two, and three unassigned. And you'll start from button four. So again, you'll go over here and do BLF. And you'll do 102, or you can even do 101 because now it's going to be on every phone. I'm going to do 101. And then I'm going to do 102. And over here is 103. Okay, and here's 104. And here is 105. Okay, and then I can go ahead and hit save. And now I just saved our basic phone template called our office. And now I can go back to the inventory and I can click on multiple phones at a time and click bulk edit. I apologize, not bulk edit. You're going to go to the Snap Builder and you're going to click this arrow and you're going to apply a template to selected devices. And then it's going to go ahead and bring up the devices you want to apply it to. You're going to click on our office. All right, it's giving me a little warning error there because it's a different type of phone. So I can hit cancel and take it off and go here and apply a template. Um, and then click our office. And then I can do again, apply and resync. And now it will apply it to that phone and it will resync the phone and the buttons will appear. And now if you want, you can go back into 101 and we can see that it applied the filter to the phone. 101 through 105. It applied the template. So that's pretty much uh, but, uh, being able to program your own buttons. Uh, it's fairly simple. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always email us at support at dynalink.com or you can uh, call us at 877-396-2546. Thanks for watching.